Hello children, welcome to 7th Science Online Classes. Nutrition in Animals In the last class, we studied absorption in the small intestine. And what is absorption? The digested food absorbed by the blood vessels of the small intestine is called absorption. And this absorption, the rate of absorption increased by some uh, finger-like projections inside the small intestine that is called villi. And this villi increased the surface area for absorption of the digested food. And today we are going to study about the large process of the nutrition that is called egestion. We know that the digested food materials are absorbed by small intestine and the absorbed food materials are transported to different part of our body through the blood vessels to build complex substances such as proteins and that process is called assimilation and our body is made up of many cells and in each cells glucose that breaks down uh, to form carbon dioxide and water with the help of oxygen. So carbon dioxide is a waste product so that we exhale out and uh, in that time energy is released. So that uh, from the food our body absorb the digested food. And what about the undigested food? The food that remains undigested and unabsorbed enters into the large intestine okay so from the small intestine the food material the digested food material absorbed and the undigested or unabsorbed that is the waste part come to the next uh, section that is called large intestine so here you can see the uh, picture of large intestine it is wider and shorter than small intestine it is shorter than small intestine and it is 1.5 meter and what about small intestine it is 7.5 meters long small intestine but large intestine it is small smaller than or shorter than uh, small intestine and it is 1.5 meter in length and what is the function of this large intestine here absorption of water and salt from undigested food occurs okay so that is the function it, it its function is to absorb water and some salt from undigested food material and remaining waste matter so from large intestine water and salt absorbed and again some remaining waste material that matter is passed out through the rectum one bag is there that bag is collected the uh, fecal matter waste materials uh, that bag is called rectum time to time fecal matter is removed through the anus so that is the anus is the last part of the elementary canal so through uh, the anus the fecal matter removed and this process is called ejection so that is the last process of nutrition you know that uh, four uh, five processes are there uh, which are the five process uh, ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection so last uh, process is ejection so ejection is the process of eject the waste material from our body through anus the process ejection means the fecal matter is removed through the anus that is called ejection so sometime because of some infection or food poisoning or indigestion we feel to pass watery stool frequently so sometimes you have also experienced such situation or we can call it as loose motion and this condition is known as diarrhea 
so in that uh, condition in that diarrhea a condition when watery stool pass frequently and the reason is like that food poisoning or infection or indigestion it is a serious disease and can lead to death in severe cases because it involves extensive loss of water and salts from the body so in this case uh, pass uh, stool or feces frequently watery stool so that time uh, from our body the loss of water ex uh, excessive water loss happened water and salt so that is a severe situation and it may lead to death so in that time what we have to do we have to give that much water and salt to that patient and here generally ors oral rehydration solution so the solution we can consume through our mouth that is oral so oral rehydration solution or ors which is boiled cooled water in which a pinch of salt or sugar is added is recommended to the patients to maintain the water loss of the body so this ors is a powder okay and that powder uh, contain some salt or sugar and uh, that kind of patients uh, affecting diarrhea we can give such patients uh, boiled water we add this ors powder to this boiled water and give to that patient and we can overcome this uh, loss of water or dehydration from the body okay so that is that disease is called diarrhea so see the spelling d i a r r h o e a that is the spelling of diarrhea so what is diarrhea a condition when watery stool pass frequently is called diarrhea okay children so today we stop the class and uh, read the textbook so, small uh, so we finished the, the, the all four five process of nutrition so read that five process okay thank you